In this video, we're going to be talking about working units in MicroStation. If you're an AutoCAD user transitioning over, you refer to them as drawing units. In MicroStation, we call them working units. And if you create a file using the correct seed file provided by Caltrans, the working units are already defined in the seed files, so you'd be already set. There's little need for you to ever change the working units. We will talk about something and a reason to do that in this video, but 99% of the time, you would just leave them as they were set in the seed files. Now, looking at the working units in this file, to see what they are, we can do this by two methods. One is going to the backstage. I can come up to File. I can come down to Settings. And then under File, I would go to Design File Settings. Now, there is a faster way to get there, and that's the one I'm going to show you. I'm going to hit the circle with the arrow. On the Quick Access Toolbar, across the top, Headquarters has provided the option to access the Design File Settings from an icon. So I'm going to click there. This will open the Design File Settings dialog. Now, this is the settings for this file and just this file. Any changes you make on any of the categories on the left, if you want them to remain or stay in that file, you need to save settings. These are not global changes for your system. These are file-specific changes. So on the bottom left, there is working units. Up in the right, there's linear units. And under format, we have three choices. We're going to be discussing the first two, master unit, which is MU, and then master unit semicolon SU, which is for subunit. So we're just going to be looking at MU or master unit first. Under master unit, we can see it's set to survey feet, and the label by default is FT. Subunits is set to survey tenths, and the label is defaulted to TN. The accuracy currently is set to three. And again, these are all set in the seed file, so you will inherit these each time you create a new file. Now, down below are the advanced settings. You don't need to change those, and you shouldn't change those unless specifically instructed by somebody at headquarters. So we're going to go with the settings we have, and we're going to see how this looks when we measure something. We're going to click OK. We're going to be going to the Measure Distance tool, which is under the tab called Analyze, and the Group Measure and the tool is called Measure Distance. We're going to measure the distance between two points on this shape. So I'm going to go to the left corner here, left click, which is Data. I'm going to go to the far right corner. I'm going to left click. And on the Tool Settings window, we see the distance is 64.793 feet. You'll notice that the subunits, or fractions of a foot, are expressed as 0.793. And you'll notice there's also three places of accuracy. So that's master units and a fraction of a master unit. So I'm going to hit Reset. We're going to change the accuracy from three places to four places and see how that changes it. We're going to come back up to our Design File Settings dialog on the Quick Access Toolbar. We're going to change our accuracy from three places to four places. I'm going to click OK. We're still in the Measure Distance tool, so we're just going to remeasure those two points. I'm going to go to the left corner going to go to the right corner. And on the Tool Settings window, you see that it's 64.7934. So there was an additional place of accuracy there. I'm going to hit Reset. Now, the other example I wanted to talk about is if you need to do a construction detail and you need to work in feet and inches, if you're working with the current working units, which are feet and tenths of a foot, well, how do I input and how do I display 15 feet, 9 inches. So let's say I want to draw something that's 15 feet, 9 inches. You don't want to have to do a conversion of inches into decimal of a foot. So we need to change our working units. So I'm going to come up to Design File Settings. We're going to be changing our format here from MU to MUSU, or Master Units, Subunits. And then we're going to change our subunits here from Survey Tenths to Inches. Again, this does not change the units of measurement in your file. A foot is still a foot, and the subunits, instead of being divided by 10, are now going to be divided by 12. And we can type them in differently also, but that's by choosing the format at the top, MU colon SU. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to change to my Play Smart Line tool. So I'm going to go to the Home tab at the top. Under the placement group, there's place smart line, and I'm going to place a line. I'm going to start in a random spot. I'm going to do a left click. Now you see the AccuDraw compass appear. That's the square. At the bottom of my screen is my AccuDraw window docked in there. You can see in the X field, it's showing my current position of my cursor relative to the origin or the start point. 
you'll see that the seven in this case, the five are separated by a semicolon. That means it's seven feet five. So I'm gonna move my cursor to the right and I'm gonna type in 15 and I'm gonna put in a semicolon or a colon, either one would work. And then I'm gonna put in the nine for nine inches. I'm gonna move my cursor over here to the right and I'm gonna data and I'm gonna reset. We're now gonna measure that line using the measure distance tool and see how it's expressed. So we're gonna to go to our analyze tab at the top. We're gonna to go to measure distance. We're gonna pick the beginning of the line, left click, go to the end of the line, again, left click. Now on the tool settings window, you see it's expressed as 15 feet, nine inches. Now, what if we changed it back to just label format, master units, and we changed it back to subunits being tenths of a foot. How would that change it? Let's go back up to our design file settings dialog. Format at the top, we're gonna to change that to master unit. In our subunits, we're gonna change this back to survey tenths, and we're gonna click OK. Again, we're still in the measure distance tool. We're gonna to measure the two points again. And now what you see on the tool settings window is 15.75. So 0.75 is nine inches, or that's the equivalent tenths of a foot. Now, if you're doing dimensioning in MicroStation, they can be affected by your working units also. Now we're gonna to go to our annotate tab and under the dimensioning group, we're gonna click dimension element. And on the tool settings window, we're gonna be opening our dimension styles dialog. We wanna see what it's currently set to. Now under the units tab, you can see under primary units, you have the option to say, just use what the working units are. Well, I may want to express this as feet and inches. So I'm gonna say, don't use the working units. And now I can choose my label format. Again, I don't wanna just see master units. I wanna see master units and subunits. So I'm gonna change this from MU label to MU label dash SU label. So master unit label, subunit label. My master units are gonna leave as a foot and my subunits I'm going to change to inches. And I'm going to change this IN, my label, to double tick. And now I'm going to actually dimension something. Now I'm going to change my accuracy here to just two places. Again, it doesn't change the accuracy of the element I created. It's just how the dimension is displayed. So I'm going to go ahead and select that element. And you can see it's going to come up as 15, a tick mark, dash, because I told it to put a dash in there. And then it's 9.00 in its inches. So that's a way for you to place in an element if you're doing a construction detail to use feet and inches. Again, when you enter the values, you would just put in a semicolon between your feet and your inches, or which are subunits. And for dimensioning, you can draw everything in master units and have it set to tenths of a foot. But when you dimension something, you can actually have the dimension values be expressed in feet and inches if you wanted to. So that's an overview of your working units. And just one reminder is that you should not be changing the working units unless it's the subunits if you wanna do it in feet and inches. But under the advanced tab, you shouldn't be changing that unless again, specifically instructed by someone from headquarters at Caltrans. See you in the next video.